we will perform all enable builds, which is one. Let's wait a little bit. You see that after it's finished, it will open up the build portal for us. And I will click the most recent file, which is the versions of 1.0.0.2. Click here, click PC, PC, x86, CCP, and you will see that we have the this folder right here. And when we open it, you will find that it has all the necessary files and folder, but without this backup this folder folder. For this tutorial, what we're gonna need is the build tool from Super Unity Build. I already made a video about this, but this is a very powerful tool. It's gonna help you to all the automated tasks that you're gonna need to build your games. And furthermore, we're gonna need the build actions right here. This package is the extensions of the build tool, and it contains a lot of pre-made actions. It's definitely gonna save your time. So. How we're gonna use those packets in your project? What we're gonna do is we're gonna click code right here and you're gonna copy the HTTPS GitHub link, which is right here. Then go to Window, Package Manager, and you're gonna click the button which has the plus sign right here. As package from Git URL, you're gonna paste this and you're gonna click the app. Similarly, with the view actions, you can do the same. You can click code and you can click the copy button right here. I already have those packages in my project, so I don't have to do anything, but it is the basic setup for this. Now, let's jump back to the part that I implement those packages to help me automate the building process. First, let's try out this tool to see how powerful it is. You're gonna click window. You will see that it has super Unity build right here. And when you click it, it will open a window beside your inspector. Now, what we would do is fill out all the necessary information needed to make the errors go away. In here, you see it says no release type found. You will see the release type here. You can click add the release type. And here, I will change the name to something like, I don't know, PC build, yeah, and then in the scene list, what we will do is you're gonna click add scenes file from build setting. In here, I have a sample scenes, and if you guys have a lot of scenes, it will be displayed right here. You will see that it has a bunch of options, and you can test it by yourself to see the source for you. The next error that we need to eliminate is no build platform power and you're going to click the build fast form right here and what we need to do is add a platform for the views I'm going to click PC and I'm clicking add platforms and in this option I will select the architecture because which could be Windows 86 or 64 and for the screen back end I'm gonna click EL2 CCP which stands for intermediate language to C++ and you will see that the error has gone and the option to perform all interviews is enabled now I'm gonna click this after it's done you will see that is automatically open for us the build folder and it has a version right here I'm click it and it has this PC build which is set for the release type click here the platform which is PC and Windows 86 AL2 CCP and then this is all the files for your build the executable file is right here and when you click it, it's going to be open to your sample scenes. Now, what I'm going to show you next is adding a post view action. And what I'm going to add is the this file operation. 
This action will help you automatically save your folder and be ready to save your game. You don't have to do it. You don't have to do it manually anymore. Let's see. In the post view action, you can click here. It has a bunch of previews operations and this is from the view action package which I just show you guys earlier and you will find a zip file operation right here and you can click ask view action you see that it has all kind of information that include like input part and output part and what necessary here is the output file name which is the zip file's name which include the folder name, the product name, the release time, and the timestamp. Now, I will click Form Enable Builds the second time to see what's happening. Let's see. You see that when it is finished, it automatically create another folder, which has another version in here. That is 1.0.0.2. And you click here. It has all the same information as before but right now you will have your this folder right here and when I click it you see it has all kind of files that needed for your game to be ready to be shipped but of course this folder is redundant don't ship it your game now I'm going to show you the way to eliminate this folder. To do that, what we're going to do is create your own post view operation. And this is one of the strengths of this super UT build package. It allows you to customize and modify those code. To do that, I'm going to create a C -sharp script inside this editor folder. And I'm going to name it customize. zip operation make sure to leave this script in the editor folder otherwise it will be enclosed in your games and it's gonna get some errors now I will open it after that what we're gonna do is to open the zip file operation file which is right here you can also find the C sharp code by searching the this file operation and remember to search to check the filter to all oh, you will find this this file operation right here and you can double click it it will open those files for you next we will copy all the interface and the parents pdf instead of model behavior And then we can copy all the methods and variable paste right here to have us customize. We're gonna click Auth Enter to eliminate the debug folders from the archive of your games. My approach would be provide a exclusion list. This will include every names of the folders that we want to eliminate from our builds, from our of your builds. And of course, it's gonna have the folders called, um, let me remember, um, backup, backup this folder, but don't ship it, blah, 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 yeah. And then we're gonna check for all the subdirectory. If some directory include the exclusion list, we will eliminate it. And then for the rest, we will private now let's start now let's jump to the coding part the this operation of the super ut package you the library i call ionic.zip so i will continue to using this library you can find all the information about it, this library on google and i will not include here so I'm aware that this is a little bit confused, so bear with me. If anything, just copy the course if it's available to you. So let's continue. I will create another method. 
let's call it art directory it will have a zip file let's go with zips a string which is the sort directory a string called zips directory and lastly the string array it is our exclusion list So in this package, we're going to check in our source directory if any subs directory include the exclusion list, we will eliminate it from the build. Oh, I think it's better to change this to the list of string instead of the array. I think it's much better. First of all, we're going to look through all the files in the source directory. I'm going to using the directory hard get files and I'm gonna pass this sort directory and in here I'm gonna change this to file and I'm gonna check if the exclusion list dot contain dot file if it's not I will add this to the zip the syntax for it is zip dot add files have the files and the zip directory which include here and in here instead of contain just the file I will modify it to contain the part of those files there we go next I'm gonna loop through all the sub directory in the source directory folder let's go for it directory dot get directory and I'm gonna pass this sort directory right here and then in here I'm gonna call it subdirectory similarly I'm gonna check if the exclusion list dot contain the parts to the subdirectory in here I will use the power of recursion and I will call the add directory again because this is a recursive method I'm gonna pass the zips the subdirectory the zip directory but this time I will also include the parts to the subdirectory and then I'm gonna add the dash at the end. Similarly, I will also add the exclusion list. There you go. If you guys want to copy those codes, please pause the video and copy it. Next, what we're gonna do is to find the folders which had the product names and the title back up this folder but don't share your games at the end and I will do that by first I'm gonna have to find the product names in here I will create a folder names which equal to the product's name and the title back up this folder but don't share your game I'm gonna paste this right here And then I'm gonna create an exclusion list. I'm gonna add this photo name to it. And then in here, instead of add directory, I will call the add directory method right here. And I'm gonna add zips, D 
the insert directory will be the input part right here you will see that right here oh sorry it will be here because it is the parameter which has high priority than than the field and then for the zip directory i will part the mp string and also the exclusion list from here finally i will add the commands zip.zip so how do we find the product names we will do that by checking the previous execute method the product names will be equal to release times dot products name dot dot satanite folder name let's save it in unity what we're gonna do is we check for the possible action right here and make sure to have the sales operations as we just customize right here and you can click as view actions then we will perform all enable views which is one let's wait a little bit you see that after it's finished it will open up the view portal for us and i will click the most recent file which is the versions of 1.0.0.2 click here click pc pc x86 CCP, and you will see that we have the this folder right here and when we open it you will find that it has all the necessary files and folder but without this backup this folder folder that is the end of my video if you guys find this helpful and learn something about it please consider like and subscribe to the channel thank you for watching